It's 2.30am and like students, we're up again when we shouldn't be because we've got uni tomorrow, well today, in about eight hours anyway. Uh, Chris, Carla, Bev, Gemma, and me all sat down here looking at places we can go when we do our trip through Europe uh, in July. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> one thing we're dead set on doing now is uh, we're going to be taking the Glacier Express up the Schlitthorn. <laughs> See, we're doing our research properly here. <laughs> that, and also, we're going to go to Krakow, we're going to visit Auschwitz, we're going to visit the, uh, the Shroud of Turin, and possibly Mont Saint-Michel, and anywhere else? Oh, oh, yeah, oh yeah, the running of the bulls, which I don't agree with, but I'd like to go and see it anyway, if that makes sense. Good morning. Uh, not a bad day out today. We're back to the uni in the first time in about a week, I think. We've got a lecture with Magalie's husband, Paul Rees, today. Hi, Jim Tram. Paul Rees is uh, traditionally the uh, moodiest out of all the photography teachers. And he's got no reason to be, really. He's ma married to Magalie. We just finished our lecture with Paul Rees, which was quite good, and now we're sat on the sofas by the refectory because there's nothing else for us to do. We're finished. For a day anyway. Hey, hey Chris, you looking forward to the election tomorrow? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah? Exactly. Are you going to vote? You ain't decided yet? No, not yet. Okay, we'll have to talk to you about that tomorrow. Yeah. Are we going to stay up for the whole vote? Yes, stay up all night. Yes, yeah, good. So yeah, I'm really excited about the election tomorrow. I don't know where the polling station is though, but I'm pretty sure I'm registered because I had a letter through. We're heading into town now to place a, place a bet on the election and to buy a map for our Europe trip because we haven't done that yet and we need to start planning it. Yeah, finally made it into town. Believe it or not, we spent about an hour trying to find somewhere to park. First off, Chris has got to go to the post office, then we'll go to the bookies, then we'll go to the map selling shop. Here we are, Chris is in there. You might remember that I'm not allowed to film in the post office. I've got told off before. Yeah, that's Chris Dunn. <laughs> What's he? Sorry about him. Now we've got to go and find a map. I think we'll try a map here. Chris, find me a map. <laughs> I'm afraid the maps in here are a pure disappointment. We best try Waterstones. Hold on, hold on. The front of the Sun newspaper has Simon Cow <laughs> telling everyone Britain's got to change. <laughs> if that doesn't put people off voting Tory, then I don't know what will. I think we're going to have to get this map. It hasn't got turkey in it though. It's only got the edge of turkey. It's got bits of Finland missing. But, but maybe we could just forget about them countries. <laughs> yeah, we got our map for £5.99. Now we've got to go and find somewhere to eat. Where do you, where do you fancy eating, Chris? Probably that island there. Where do you fancy eating? Somewhere with food. Food. We find ourselves back in this nice little cafe again. Where we are studying the map and Gemma's looking for a place where she can go. All four of us are having the famous cedar omelettes. Mm -hmm. Egg and potato really, isn't it? <laughs> That was actually quite a splendid omelette. Mm. Mm. 
We found ourselves in a bookies now. We're putting bets on the election. Make it more fun to watch. We've put on, God, 10 bets. I'll have to show you them all in a second. They're all pretty optimistic as well. Let's just get back into Opal, then I can show you these betting slips. And then it'll be time for me to get on and read some more of that book that I've got to finish. We're putting the map up on the wall so we can start planning our trip. So I want to show you the uh, bets that we've put on the general election. <clears throat> we put loads on. Uh, up here, we've got a rather optimistic Labour majority, which is only put on for because they've got 16 to 1 odds. Up here, we've guessed how many seats Labour are going to get. Chris has guessed between 225 and 249. I've guessed here somewhere between 250 and 299. Optimistic again, but that's because I've got good odds. We've got turnout percentage bet. Chris has guessed between 55 and 60%. Uh, Bev's put a bet on the Tory seats and how much they'll get between 250 and 274. I've also bet 25 to 1 odds, which seems a bit high actually. Uh, for the Lib Dems to get the most seats in Wales, which will be interesting to watch. Chris also reckons this is a bizarre bet. It's weird, <laughs> you're weird. He reckons uh, Scotland will be mostly Liberal Democrats <laughs> by the end of <laughs> Thursday night, which isn't going to happen, but... Good luck, Chris. <laughs> We've also started plotting the map of where we're going to go when we travel around Europe. Let me show you quick. So we start up here in Newport, and we'll probably go down to Portsmouth and across to France. We're going to go visit Mont Saint-Michel, which we've done before, uh, down to Spain, because we want to watch the running of the bulls. As much as I dislike it, we still want to go there. Uh, where's this? Torino, Turin, to see the... Uh, what's the thing called in Turin? The Shroud of Turin. And here we're going to go and uh, take the Glacier Express up the Schlitthorn. <laughs> and uh, going to go to Auschwitz and Krakow. We're going to go to Dubrovnik. Uh, what's this one up here? Oh, this has got a really beautiful place that's in uh, Transylvania. Uh, I'm not sure we'll have to talk. Saya Sunara or something. And Istanbul as well. And that's all we've got so far. Uh, but we're going to do all this in 22 days and probably visit some other places as well. Really looking forward to it. Thanks for watching again today. It's day 121 of 365. I want to get on with my book now. And Chris and Kyra are going to come down later and we're going to watch a film called Harold and Maud or something, which sounds quite interesting. Tune in again tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a comment below just to say hi or something so I know you've watched. And I'll speak to you later. Bye.